Imagine a universe where gravity isn't a force, but a curve in the fabric of space and time. This concept might seem abstract, but it fundamentally changes how we perceive the universe around us. This is the essence of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, a theory that has stood the test of time and continues to be a cornerstone of modern physics. This groundbreaking idea revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, offering new insights into the nature of reality itself. Published in 1915, this theory extended Einstein's earlier work on special relativity, which had already begun to reshape our understanding of space and time. Special relativity dealt with the relationship between space and time, showing that they are interconnected in ways previously unimagined. General relativity took it a step further, incorporating gravity into the equation and showing that massive objects cause a curvature in space-time. It offered a new way of thinking about the universe, not as a static stage, but as a dynamic entity where massive objects warp the very fabric of space-time, influencing the motion of everything around them. General relativity is more than just a theory. It's a cornerstone of modern physics providing a framework that has been tested and confirmed through countless experiments and observations. It provides the framework for understanding the large-scale structure of the universe, from the motion of planets to the behavior of galaxies and even the expansion of the universe itself. From the motion of planets in our solar system to the behavior of entire galaxies, General relativity offers explanations that have been confirmed time and again. It predicts phenomena like black holes and gravitational waves, objects and events so bizarre they seem ripped from the pages of science fiction. These predictions, once thought to be purely theoretical, have been confirmed by observations, providing some of the most compelling evidence for the validity of general relativity. Yet these predictions have been confirmed by observations, cementing general relativity as one of the most successful scientific theories of all time. The theory's success is not just academic, it has practical implications that extend far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. The implications of general relativity extend far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. It underpins technologies we rely on every day, like the Global Positioning System, or GPS. It underpins technologies we rely on every day, like the Global Positioning System, which requires precise calculations that take into account the curvature of space-time. This makes it a vital part of our modern world, influencing everything from navigation to telecommunications. But perhaps most importantly, general relativity continues to inspire scientists to explore the cosmos with fresh eyes, seeking answers to some of the most fundamental questions about the nature of space, time, and gravity. The theory challenges us to think differently about the universe pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring new generations of scientists to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. Before we delve into the complexities of general relativity, it's essential to understand the scientific landscape that preceded it. The journey to our current understanding of gravity began long before Einstein's groundbreaking theories. For centuries, Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation reigned supreme. Newton's insights laid the foundation for classical mechanics and revolutionized the way we perceive the universe. Formulated in the late 17th century, Newton's law described gravity as a force of attraction between any two objects with mass. This was a monumental leap in scientific thought, providing a mathematical framework to understand gravitational interactions. The more massive the objects, the stronger the gravitational pull between them. This principle was not only intuitive, but also elegantly simple, making it accessible to scientists and laypeople alike. This simple yet elegant law explained why objects fall to the ground, a phenomenon that had puzzled humanity for millennia. It also explained why the moon orbits the Earth, providing a coherent explanation for celestial mechanics and even the tides caused by the moon's gravitational pull. Newton's law unified terrestrial and celestial phenomena under a single theory. Newton's law of gravitation was incredibly successful in explaining a wide range of phenomena within our solar system. It was a cornerstone of physics guiding scientific inquiry for generations. It allowed astronomers to predict the motions of planets with remarkable accuracy, enabling them to chart the heavens with unprecedented precision and even led to the discovery of Neptune based on gravitational perturbations observed in Uranus's orbit. 
This was a testament to the predictive power of Newton's equations. For centuries, Newton's law was considered the final word on gravity. It was enshrined in textbooks and taught as an unassailable truth. However, as our understanding of the universe grew, so did the realization that Newton's law had its limitations. The advent of more precise instruments and observations revealed anomalies that Newtonian mechanics couldn't account for. It couldn't fully explain certain subtle discrepancies observed in the orbit of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. These anomalies hinted at deeper underlying principles yet to be discovered. Moreover, Newton's theory treated gravity as an instantaneous force acting across vast distances, a notion that seemed increasingly untenable as our knowledge of the cosmos expanded. This concept was at odds with Einstein's later work on special relativity, which established the speed of light as the ultimate speed limit in the universe. Einstein's theories would eventually provide a more comprehensive understanding of gravity, but Newton's contributions remain foundational to the field of physics. Einstein's genius lay in his ability to look beyond the accepted norms and question the very nature of gravity. He proposed a radical idea. Gravity is not a force acting at a distance, but rather a manifestation of the curvature of space-time. Imagine a bowling ball placed on a trampoline. The ball creates a dip in the trampoline's surface, and if you roll a marble nearby, it will curve towards the bowling ball, seemingly attracted by an invisible force. In Einstein's vision, massive objects like stars and planets act like the bowling ball, warping the fabric of space-time around them. The more massive the object, the greater the curvature it creates. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Objects are not pulled by a force, they simply follow the curves in space-time created by the presence of mass and energy. This revolutionary concept of space-time curvature explained the discrepancies in Mercury's orbit that Newton's theory couldn't account for. The Sun, being the most massive object in our solar system, creates a significant curvature in space-time, and Mercury, being so close, feels the effects more strongly than other planets. Its orbit, therefore, deviates slightly from the predictions made by Newton's law. Section 4, The Language of Gravity Deciphering Einstein's Field Equations To describe the relationship between space-time curvature and the distribution of mass and energy, Einstein developed a set of complex mathematical formulas known as the Einstein Field Equations. These equations are the bedrock of general relativity, expressing the theory in the language of mathematics. They are notoriously difficult to solve even for physicists, but they hold the key to understanding the behavior of gravity in extreme environments such as those found near black holes or in the early universe. The field equations tell us that mass and energy dictate how space-time curves, and conversely, the curvature of space-time influences the motion of mass and energy. It's a beautiful and intricate dance between the two where one cannot exist without the other. The more massive an object, the greater the curvature it creates and the stronger the gravitational pull it exerts. Solving Einstein's field equations for specific scenarios can be incredibly challenging, often requiring sophisticated mathematical techniques and approximations. However, the solutions provide us with profound insights into the workings of the universe. They have led to predictions of phenomena unimaginable in Newton's time, such as the existence of black holes, gravitational waves, and the expansion of the universe itself. Section 5. Bending Light's Path, Gravitational Lensing and the 1919 Eclipse One of the most intriguing predictions of general relativity is the bending of light by gravity. This concept, while seemingly abstract, has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. According to Einstein, gravity's influence on space-time is so profound that it can even alter the path of massless particles like photons, the quanta of light. This means that light, which we often think of as traveling in straight lines, can actually be bent by the presence of a massive object. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, occurs when light from a distant source, such as a star or galaxy, passes by a massive object like a galaxy cluster on its way to Earth. The gravitational field of the massive object warps the fabric of space-time, causing the light to follow a curved path. The massive object acts like a lens, bending the light rays around it. 
This effect can magnify and distort the image of the distant source, much like a glass lens can magnify and distort the image of an object seen through it. This bending can cause multiple images of the distant source to appear, creating a cosmic mirage. These multiple images can provide astronomers with valuable information about the mass and distribution of the lensing object. Imagine looking at a candle through a magnifying glass. The glass bends the light rays, making the candle appear larger and possibly distorted. This analogy helps us understand how gravitational lensing works on a much grander scale. Gravitational lensing works similarly, albeit on a cosmic scale. The massive objects in space, such as galaxies and black holes, act as natural lenses, bending the light from objects behind them and creating distorted, magnified, or even multiple images of those objects. The first observational evidence for gravitational lensing came during the total solar eclipse of 1919. This event provided a unique opportunity to test Einstein's theory of general relativity. Astronomers led by Sir Arthur Eddington measured the positions of stars near the sun's limb during the eclipse when the sun's bright light was blocked out by the moon. This allowed them to observe the stars' positions without the interference of the sun's glare. They found that the stars' apparent positions were slightly shifted compared to their positions when the sun was not in the way, confirming Einstein's prediction and providing the first experimental verification of general relativity. This groundbreaking observation not only validated Einstein's theory, but also opened up new avenues for understanding the universe and the role of gravity in shaping the cosmos.